everyone. I'm just about to go off on a trip with Odigo. I've got my bag packed down there and I'm ready to go to the airport. We're traveling for seven days around different places. So um, I'm taking you guys along with me and I'm not sure what we're gonna see. I do know, I have the itinerary. I've looked at the itinerary. Anyway, I have to go, uh, so I'm not late. Let's go to the airport because I've run out of time. I'm super excited though. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me because the wind's a bit strong right now, but the weather is so different in Izumo than it is in Tokyo. Right now it is actually freezing. But we have a car now and Debbie's gonna drive it. Debbie was the girl that I showed on the camera earlier in the plane and she was like, hey, that's Debbie. So yeah, she's gonna she's gonna drive and I'm just gonna sit in the back because I don't have a license I can use in Japan. This is Mao. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is Mao. Mao. She, I, Mao Mao TV. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. TV. I'll link it down below. We're in nature. Touch a rock. Sniff a leaf. Wow. You see that the zoom actually can see better than I can. Oh, and you just want like little fish to just be like swimming in there and over there. Asking for the biggest splinter of your life. We made it. I have no idea what to expect inside, but I'm keen. Amazing. And there's just like one red tree at the top there. <laughs> I just want to touch all the moss. I'll put my hand in it. <laughs> These kind of places, I um, I like to be by myself. Uh, I'm hoping some of you can relate to that. Kind of like temples and shrines. I I find it's like a great experience to just be by yourself and to take everything in without being around other people. I mean, it is a great experience to be with other people, but I like to go off by myself and just think what I think and do what I do without. <laughs> without it being influenced by anyone else. Just chill out and learn your own lessons. I keep seeing these berries and I really want to eat them. I'm holding back, but look at that. I want to make it into jam. I'm probably going to die someday from doing something stupid like that. It's Chris. What up? Hey. Oh, it's all this water. Oh, it smells like farts and moles. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, we've just made it to this row of gates, which apparently a small yellow train is gonna pass through, not through them, but by them. Uh, so we're gonna wait for the train and check it out. We think the train might be coming. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> is it coming? <laughs> okay, uh, what shot should we do? Oh God. We're all gonna try and get the center, maybe I can go and love you. you wine theme park like it's all over here there's this European vibe in the middle of Izumo which is crazy but yeah we're gonna go in and taste some wines I hope they have warm ones <laughs> you're just gonna ladle and go for it you just go like that yeah holy it's such a cute little spoon that's actually not that oh I'll cheers <laughs> cheers <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I already started without you. I had to put it in my mouth. I'm so hungry. I got the um the black beef, black beef um croquet. It's got mashed potato in it and beef. It's so good. 
<laughs> now we're at a gorge so the sun is just about to go down a bit further but let's check out the gorge I really have to pee but there's only a squat toilet in there that smells like urine so I'm not going in there I know that's a really stupid thing to do but I can hold it <laughs> I guess I am in a gorge. A gorgeous gorge. What is it? Oh, cool. Hey, guys. Hey! Hey! It's a frog. Go! Yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah. Man, if I live near here, that'd be my spot. Holy wow. His beanie has become a little moss garden. Hey, good morning guys. It's day two right now uh, with Odigo and we're in Izumor. Such a beautiful day and there's Izumor. Yay. This is me this morning, by the way. Hello. This is the first time I've had a full-length mirror to myself in a long time, so it's very weird. Also, with the places we're going to visit today, if you want to see any of them, just hop over to the Odiga website and there'll be heaps more information on them if you want to come by yourself or with friends or whatever. Okay, let's go meet the others downstairs. <laughs> Have berries. Maybe we can eat them. Do you want to say good morning? Morning! Yay, good morning. There she is. I just spotted there's a guy fishing down there. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how did he get there? Whoa, hello beautiful. <gasps> Whoa, okay, I don't want to go any closer than that. Wow, I'm kind of alone. You don't really feel that way very often in Tokyo. Look at that. As a little bug, I want to live here. But you'd probably just be so interested in your tree that you wouldn't know the beautiful place that you lived in. That's probably a big metaphor for life, but but here it's really true. You'd be so small you wouldn't even notice. on this place. This is actually called Bentenjima, which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, apparently it's really good for sunsets and on the October 10th of every year um, the gods from around Japan descend on Izumo and a ritual is held on the beach at the shrine. I'm reading this from a site called Visit Shimane. Do you guys also find this really satisfying? <laughs> Debbie's parking. Debbie's parking. <laughs> Made it to the temple, bruv. Look at those lanterns, they're huge. 
Okay, I'm just reading about this place and it turns out that it's one of the most important shrines in Japan because it was apparently already in existence in the early 700s? 700s? It's slim and old. So where I just took the video, um, that's down the center in between the trees, but you're not actually allowed to walk down there because that's where the god walks, or the gods, I'm not sure. So um, at, usually at shrines in Japan, you have to walk usually on the left side, um, but just not in the center because that is reserved for the gods. Nature. Leaves and trees and trees and leaves and nature. Do you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> Yeah. The god that is here is the creator of all Japan, so that's why this shrine is so famous. There are rabbits everywhere here. Not real rabbits, but statues. So Mao just told me that the rabbits symbolize good luck with love, which is cool. So there's heaps of bunnies everywhere, so maybe, maybe I should pray for that here. <laughs> nah, no, it's fine. So we've come to the back of the temple and there are heaps of these little rabbit statues. They're so cute. But all of them symbolize luck in love. Oh, they're both praying and they're praying to the temple right behind us. So it'd actually be a really cute date spot, to be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna pray for a boyfriend, um, but I th it says you have to clap four times here. Normally at Japanese shrines you have to clap like just twice. But here you have to clap four times, two for you and two for your partner. Okay, so I'm getting a boyfriend in the next 24 hours. That rope is thick. <laughs> Hey guys, so we were just about to go to some soba places that were recommended to us, but unfortunately they've run out. The soba here is so popular that it sells out really fast and we had no idea, so we've unfortunately missed out. But if you do come here, uh, they make their soba by hand every morning, so definitely come and check some of these places out. Uh, but yeah, sadly we can't, but we'll find something good to eat, don't worry. We just got an onigiri burger with something inside. What's inside it? This is my zenzai, which is red bean soup with two pieces of dango and this little cookie biscuit thing. Oh, yum. Oh my gosh. The guy who owns the shop just came and brought us some clam soup. Just for free because he's closing up. Ah, it smells so good. Ah, just made it home. Look at that bed. It's calling for me. Man, today was so much fun. I am so tired, but oh, today was awesome. It was so good. I'm just going to chill out uh, and eat snacks and have some sleep. It's really interesting not having to edit uh, in the evening because my computer's dead. So I just get to sleep, which is so nice. I'm gonna chill out. If you liked any of the places that we visited today, um, I'll leave a link to Odigo's website in the description box and you can go check them out and they'll give you heaps of information all the places here and how to get to them. So yeah, just check it out. Tomorrow we're on our way to Sakai Minato, which is somewhere else. I can't give you any information, but we're doing a heap of cool things there. But yeah, if you want to see some of that, that video will be on its way really soon. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I need to sleep. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, hit subscribe if you want more videos like this or not like this. Just come chill with me, whatever I end up doing. And just come on for the journey. Oh, I'm so tired. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!